Hello everyone. Welcome to this third lecture of this unit, Computer Aided Process Planning. This is Mr. Suyog Patil, Assistant Professor in Department of Mechanical Engineering, Sharad Institute of Technology, College of Engineering, Edrao, Ichalkaranji. So today we are going to study this production planning and inventory control or we can say the production control. Okay. First of all, we will see production planning. What is mean by this production planning and production control? Okay. So in this production planning, this production planning is the planning of a production and manufacturing models in a company or an industry. It utilizes the resources allocation of, a, of an activities of employees, materials, the production capacity in order to sense the different customers, serve the different customers. Okay. So this production planning is related with this for the resources allocation in this industries, the resources like uh, production material, then um, activities and employees, production capacities okay. to meet these different customers requirements or to serve these customers. Then again, this production planning can be combined with this production control in to, into production planning and control or it can be combined with this enterprise resource planning okay erp it is also called as enterprise resource planning okay and again production planning may be here we can see production planning may be said to be a technique of forecasting ahead okay this forecasting ahead every step in the long process production taking them at right time and in the right degree and trying to complete operations at maximum efficiency <laughs> Okay. to improve this efficiency of this production okay so this production planning may help okay then again this planning of the industrial operations involves four considerations namely the work shall be done what kind of the work shall be done then how the work shall be done or what are the methods that we have to follow this to complete this work then lastly the when the work shall be done okay when or at what time this work shall be done okay so these are the various important terms in this production planning okay. and production control okay in this production control is the function of this management which plans directs and controls this material supply and processing activities of an enterprise okay so that the specified products or this produced by the specified methods to meet an approved sales program okay so this production planning is re control is related with this plan which direct plans directs and controls this material inventory from this industries then operations various operations in the manufacturing okay which control then again this production control is the process that keeps a watchful eye on this production flow and size of the resources along with their locations okay this production control may uh, watchful it is also called as this watchful eye on this production flow the size of the resources and with their locations of any deviation from the present action and to arrange for this prompt adjustment so that this production may be may run according to this original or revised schedule okay so this production control may help to revise and uh, for the smooth flow of this production again this production control refers to ensuring that all which occurs in a uh, in accordance with this rules established and instructions uh, issued okay so this production control is again refers to ensuring that this all which occurs in accordance with this rules established and instructions issued next one characteristics okay so inputs like material men and machines are efficiently used so this in this production planning and control ppc so this inputs or we can say this activities man machine and materials are effectively used or efficiently used okay their allocation is again efficient 
the factors of this production are uh, integrated to use them economically okay similarly the again deviation of work is undertaken carefully so that every available element is properly utilized okay so available availability of these materials or elements in, from this industry uh, again utilization of this availability availability is uh, very much important okay so that can be again achieved with this ppc then work is regulated from the first stage of this procuring raw materials to the stage of this finished goods okay similarly questions like what when and how to be manufactured are decided okay uh, with the help of this ppc production planning and control okay so these are the various characteristics of this ppc now aims and objectives of this ppc this determines sequence of operations for this continuous production okay so in continuous or batch production or this mass production industries this ppc can differentiate the sequence of operations and it also helps for scheduling then planning plant activity for future production programs okay so for future schedules and future production requirements we can plan accordingly then issuing coordinated work schedules to connect to concerned persons then again maintaining sufficient inventories to support continuous flow of this production okay. similarly evaluating performance of the workshops and maintaining maintaining production schedules to ensure delivery at proper time okay so again we have to meet this customers delivery at this uh, required time or at the proper time so this ppc can again help okay so from these are the objectives of this ppc in areas of this production planning so the preparation of the production budget okay help in preparation of this production budget this ppd can help then again devising manufacturing methods and sequence of the operations okay again in this area this production planning can support then deciding type of the material type of the machines and equipments the preparation of the operation sheets and instructions cards estimating main machine and material requirements okay then again in undertaking time and motion studies this ppc can be very efficiently used then preparing master schedules okay again while preparing master schedules this production planning can be helpful so again areas of this production control okay this uh, production control can be uh, in subdividing the master schedule into manufacturing or subsidiary orders okay so this master production schedule can be divided subdivided into various schedules according to their requirements and this capacity okay so this production control can help in that then again in routing scheduling dispatching the uh, final finished products then again expenditing then again tool keeping tool supplies okay in these areas this production control can be helpful need or importance of this ppc okay this production planning and control is important for the following reasons okay these are the, uh, this production planning and com production planning and control is very much uh, important in this industries because of because of this increasing production rate and for coordinating this plant activity okay plant activity so main purpose of this production planning is to arrange inputs production control program minimizes this idleness idleness of men and machines okay and it thus helps in raising in industrial input outputs as well as okay so this production planning and control is accordingly it is used to arrange this inputs and production control program minimizes this idleness of this man various activities that is man machines etc etc and again in order in uh, coordinating plant activities in planning pr production is carried out in a number of processes and thus activities are synchronized for smooth working okay with the help of this production planning and control we can synchronize the various activities from this industries 
for the smooth working or for the smooth production so again some limitations of this production planning are also there okay based on this assumptions the production planning and control is based uh, on certain assumptions okay so this production planning and control is uh, it is an activity which is again based on this certain assumptions in case of these assumptions prove correct the planning and control will go smoothly but if go wrong process of this planning and control will go weak okay so uh, be, uh, it, this activity is again based on this uh, some certain assumptions so so if assumption is goes wrong so in, again we will be in trouble or this uh, product control will be go in the weak direction and if it is correct then we will go or this production will be in smooth then again rigidity under production planning and control there is rigidity in this behavior of this employer and it may not help in smoothing flow of the work okay so again it depends on this behavior of this employer and this workers okay so therefore this rigidity will come in picture then again difficult for small firms okay this process is time consuming and therefore not affordable for small firms or industries okay, again it is one of the limitation of this ppc it is little bit quietly as well as okay this cost of device as well as its implementation requires a separate person or to perform the functions of this planning expenditing dispatching etc okay again it requires a special or separate person or uh, separate operator okay so therefore the again cost may incur because of that as well as then again dependence on external factors okay this ppc may again depends on these external factors like natural calamities then change in technology government controls etc okay again it reduces this effectiveness of this production planning so therefore these are the some of the limitations of this production planning and control now next point it is inventory okay so what is mean by then inventory so inventory means the stock of the product of a company and components thereof that make up the product okay inventory means this it is the stock of the product of a company or that components thereof that makes the final product and it includes this raw material work in process progress and finished goods okay so there are three types of this inventories this raw material inventories then work in progress inventory and finished the final inventory okay and again it is this physical stock of the items a business or production organization kept in hand for this efficient running of this business or its production okay so this inventory may be a, it is a physical stock of the items or this components assemblies okay in this industries uh for this smooth operation or smooth performance or production okay so inventories are again of these two types items in stock and usable but idle resources are also uh come into this inventory categories okay then inventory control how we can control this inventory or what is what is the uh, reason for which we have to control this inventory is again very much important okay so again the process of maintaining a optimum needed quality of these inventories for the smooth operation of this organization okay so for this smooth operation again this op uh, inventory control is required or to reduce this cost as well as inventory control is required and again classification of these inventories this inventory inventory is uh, classified into these three categories here we can see raw material inventory in process inventory or we can say this indirect inventory okay so here we can see in this nature of these inventories are raw material basic input that are the converted into finished products through the manufacturing processes okay so that basic inputs or the raw materials components are called as raw material inventories work in progress semi manufactured products need some more work before they come finished goods for the sale okay or we can say sub assemblies semi work semi finished order products are this work in progress type of this inventories 
okay then again finished the goods completely manufactured products ready to sell okay so ready to sell type of this products dispatchable products are also called as uh, also comes under this inventories then supplies or indirect inventories okay supplies office and plant cleaning materials not directly enter into the production but are necessary for this production processes okay so these are these inventories these type of the inventories are called as indirect inventories okay these type of the inventories are called as indirect inventories which doesn't affects or which doesn't requires for this uh, production but it supports the for this production process okay then inventory control okay so inventories continue uh, constitute a significant part of this working capital okay so in this in those industries or in the production manufacturing organizations these inventories are this significant part of this their working capital okay and this therefore it is required to control these inventories then again inventory control used in a unit of physical control okay or we can say this purchase and production unit and value control then again in similar to that uh, when a firm feels shortage of this finance okay it should take more care in this inventories okay rather than anything else so inventory control is come into picture in that case okay so therefore so objectives of this inventory control so the basic managerial objectives are so these are the two main four points avoid over or under investment in the inventories okay so to avoid this shortage of this material under uh, investment or this over investment in the industries uh, this again to provide a right quantity and quality goods at right time for at the right proper value okay so this inventory control is required so here we can say this objectives of this inventory controls are to operating objectives and financial objectives okay to control this in uh, this operate inventories are controlled to reduce this cost of inventory cost okay from this financial objective point of view and from the operating objectives again this uh, to storage point or to rent okay so again it is control space that is also very important then again inventory cost okay so inventory cost again it comes into these three categories that is carrying cost ordering cost and shortage cost okay so this carrying cost means again this it is the cost of holding an item in in an inventory in the industry okay so holding cost of this that component which are in the stock okay so that is called as this uh carrying cost then ordering cost cost of this replenishing and inventory is called as this ordering cost then again this temporary or permanent loss of the sales when demand cannot be met okay so it is this because of this shortage okay so it is related with this shortage cost okay so these are the various inventory cost terms thank you thank you so much friends thanks for watching this video if you like this video please share comment and like this video then subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon to get notified for more videos on this cad cam subject and thanks for watching thank you thank you so much